Minister, I, I, I listened to your own speech and I listened to the contribution from some of your government colleagues and I, I heard them, you know, slag Fianna Fáil, the proposers of the motion here, and, and argue about party politics and warn the INTO not to, to give in to the clutches of Fianna Fáil. But what I didn't hear them talk about was the actual children. You know, and there's been a lot of focus about the, the, the teachers who will lose their positions in school as a result of the... the uh, no teacher will lose their job. Sorry, let me finish. There's a lot of focus in relation to the teachers that will lose their position as a result of the changes that you have brought in. And I know this, and I'll declare my interest, my wife is one of those teachers who will lose their position. But you're right, Minister, no teacher will lose their jobs. It will be the new recruits that come out of Merino and St. Pat's that will not be able to get a job as a result of what you have done. But more importantly, what I want to speak about this debate is about many, many children throughout rural Ireland who will be most disadvantaged because of your decision. Not of the slagging matches between the political parties or what this government was proposing to do or what that government proposed to do. It's about what's actually happening to the children's future. I have two young boys in primary school. They're in junior infants and senior infants. I hope to have other children that will follow them. They're going into a school that is a fantastic school every day. For 10 years, that school was run down and was on the school building program. But last year, it got a 1.3 million euro injection of money. In September, there will be a big close sign going up in one of those newly furbished, state-of-the-art classrooms. Because that school will go from a four-teacher school down to a three-teacher school. And there's many, many other schools like it. I can tell you about investment that has been done in terms of schools in the Donegal Gaelkirk, and I'm sure it's in other areas, which have seen investment, which have seen additional classrooms being built, but those only to see next September those classrooms being closed. So this is about the future of children, Minister. You say in your speech the only thing that is changing for small schools is that their average class sizes will no longer be as advantageous as they have been in the past. That's not true. The, ch the change will be that my son and many other mothers and fathers, sons and daughters, will be in larger classrooms and will have multiple classes, multiple classes as a result of your changes. It's not just the advantageous numbers. The reality is, Minister, by because of what you have done, you want to see in 2014, you want to see under the changes to the staffing schedule that a two-teacher school could have 28 pupils in each of the classrooms. 28 pupils. Now, just imagine standing up every day, and if you can't, if you can't, uh, the, the, the figures for the for the the figures for retention will be tw 56. So it's a, you're talking about a 28 class and a 27 class. So the, the teacher will stand up every day with 28 children, junior infants, senior infants, first class and second class, and try and teach a curriculum that is jam-packed and hope that those children will have the uh, 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 opportunities that other children have. It is simply wrong. Go in on, a no three-teacher three school, you will expect three classes, three classes to be made up of 28, 28 and 29. And you will also force that, for example, as I mentioned, my own constituency again, the Donegal Gaelic, where 42 out of the primary schools in that area, 31 will be adversely affected by the changes that you have proposed. But it's not just the teachers that will lose their positions. It's not just the chil children will have one less teacher in their school. They will also lose that 0.2% of learning support that has been allocated. Minister, you say, and you, your party talks about, and government talks about, you have to do this because of budgetary constraints. I know more than most the difficulties that this country has. But to make these type of savings, this year, one and a half million euro. Over a full year, 15 million euro. Minister, for God's sake, there are other ways to make that a savings. I, I keep on referring to just a wee thing. Every year, Minister, we spend 15 million euro on the European Space Programme. Why do we do it? 15 million euro leaves this state, leaves government's checks, a check count, and goes to the European Space Programme to send people to the moon. I would rather, Minister, if we allowed our children to attend our rural schools. I think that would be money more spe wisely spent. Allowing the teachers to do what they're uh, educated to do is to provide the education for our young people, to build the knowledge economy, to help restart, to kickstart this economy. Minister, you asked for a conversation. You have, the, the, yes, the previous Minister for Education, Mary Coughlin, started the review in relation to small rural schools. 
You haven't even waited for them. You have shown complete disrespect to that review. You have preempted what, what the review is, and you make no bones about the fact that you want to see small rural schools in Malcolm. Thank you, Deputy. There are reasons why small rural schools will close down. Yes, because of lack of pupils and shift in demographics, and that should, that, that's the normal course. But a minister should not introduce policies that is basically forcing small rural schools to consider amalgamation. You should be nurturing children, you should be nurturing education, and these policies are regretful. And I must say this here in conclusion. Minister, you, you have a proud track record, and your party does in terms of education in the past. And I say record very carefully, because the decisions that you have implemented in this budget are disastrous. The JISH proposals, which you're rolling back in and hopefully won't Jeffrey, see a full to rollback, but rural schools, it is wrong what you're doing, and I ask you to reconsider.